everybody, what's going on? I'm Marshall. Hey, I'm Sean. Hey. Nice yeah. to meet you. Thanks for coming in. So today what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, your driver. Okay. We're going to get some numbers on it with our uh, our launch monitor and just see how the ball is behaving, you know, flying down range. Um, give me a rundown of uh, your traditional shot shape. What do you what do you normally play? So I like to play a small cut. Okay. Before I used to hit a draw, but now I'm hitting a small cut. And you know, my distance has gone down a little bit. Okay. Um, I kind of want to get more distance off the cut. Okay. Uh, right now I'm hitting around 265, 270. Okay. I'd like to get you know an extra 10, 15 yards. How's your How's your launch? Does it seem low? Does it seem high? Does it? It comes off a little high, sometimes spinny. Okay. A little too spinny. So you kind of see it getting in the air, maybe rising above, coming in a little bit yeah. steep, and you know that spin is the biggest distance killer of a golf ball. So. Um, we're going to hit some shots, see our launch angle, our, um, our spin rate, our descending angle. We won't really get into the club path and uh, attack angle because that's something you normally do in a lesson. Okay. Um, but they're all good numbers for me to uh, kind of see how that ball is behaving. And then we'll, uh, we'll go through the gauntlet here. We're going to try a bunch of different products and we're going to see, to me, the most important part of a fitting is to get you to hit center of the face and to do it consistently. Um, so center face impact location. Um, you know, you said that you want to play a little bit of a cut, so I need our start direction to be a little bit left, uh, and then the golf ball to start cutting, and then I don't want too much spin. So anytime we play a cut, we tend to produce a little bit more spin, um, which could be killing some of our distance. So uh, we'll match up the launch angle, the spin rate with the impact location and start direction, and I think we'll be we'll be rocking and rolling. So uh, let's hit a couple shots and let's right. see how it's behaving. Sure. Let's hit a couple more because we're going to get a little bit of an average going. good swing that's probably what you want you want like a two to five yard cut um, it's good it's just a little bit high I want to see if I yeah. can bring that launch down just a little bit yeah we're, we're averaging you know anywhere between 15 16 even 18 degrees of, of launch on um, on our worst one it's not bad anytime you hit it high I just need low spin to accompany it but anytime my spin rate gets a little bit too low it's it's hard to control that when it gets offline so my goal today is let's see if we can bring that flight down a little bit, get that golf ball to ride its apex, come in shallow, get a little bit more tumble, uh, and see if we can um, get you a little bit more consistency with it too. So okay. I'm going to rule out the Ventus Red because Ventus Red is a higher launching product with a touch more spin and, and you don't need to launch it any higher. Um, Ventus Blue is still going to give you incredible feel, but it's got an ultra stiff tip section and it should just help with control, bring the flight down a smidge and, and get a little bit more tumble on the okay. golf ball. So right now I'm gonna do it without changing any any loft. I mean, that's the beauty of all these quick connect technology. It's, you can get the head exactly to where you want, the correct lie angle, and then also match it up with the, the right shaft that times well for your swings and gives us the best result. That one came out really hot. That's a good swing. It started a little bit left of your target. It's fading back just a little bit to the fairway. Um, it didn't look like it was spinning a whole lot. Let's see what the numbers say. About 2,300 RPMs to spin, which is really, really good. It's a good range to be in. Um, you know, given if we have about a 12 to 14 launch, 2,000 to 2,300 is a really good number. If we have a 14, 15, even 16 degree launch, I might need a little bit lower spin. So somewhere in that 1,800 to 2,000 range and vice versa. If, if I tend to launch it really low, I actually need more spin to keep it in the air because if I launch it at nine degrees and I have really low spin at 18 to 2,000, that golf ball is gonna knuckle. It's gonna fall out of the air. Yeah, I'll get a ton of tumble, but if I need to force carry something, I'm, I'm toast. So um, kind of having the correct launch and the correct spin and the correct descending angle is extremely important. Hit a couple more. Okay, I'm just gonna go a mile. Let me see that. I'm gonna try, we're gonna try one more shaft here. I'm gonna try the Ventus Black. Okay. Just has a little bit more uh, stability in the handle in the midsection. I mean, you do go after it pretty hard, you know, averaging around, you know, 113, 114, which is, that's still moving it pretty, pretty fast. Um, so I'm just gonna see what a little extra stability in the handle in the midsection. It has the exact same tip section as the blue, so you're still gonna get good control and stability. Okay. Feel-wise, does it feel much different than the blue? It, I feel like I can go after it a little bit more. Okay. It feels a little heavier. It can get more control at the top. Yeah. Pause a little better. 
I think, I think it's just gonna give you the opportunity to go out a little bit harder, because I never want somebody guiding, because when we start guiding, that brings in the two-way miss, mm -hmm. and the two-way miss, you wanna stay far, far away from. So if we can take out one side of the course, we're doing okay. Right. So hit, hit one or two more for me. Sure. Again, that was, that was pounded. Uh, really good. That one tried to cut a, a little bit more. I just, yeah. I like the black uh, just because it gives us a little bit of stability. It looks like you're going after it a little bit harder. The numbers are great. Your, your launch is still around 13 with about 2100 RPMs of spin. So it looks like it brought the RPMs down about 200. Mm -hmm. um, but I like the control we're getting. I think this would definitely be a good option for you. And it's something that you got to take out on the course and play a free rounds with it and definitely see where you yeah. net out. Definitely feels a lot better. Thank you. Good. Yeah, happy to do it. Yeah, so guys, we tried the Ventus Blue and the Ventus Black today. The Black was the winner. Um, he did launch it a little bit higher, and spin was just a fraction too high, so the, the Black just brought it down just a smidge. He was able to go after it a little bit harder, um, which I like. I never want somebody guiding it out there because sometimes that brings in the two-way miss. So I always want a player going after it as hard as they possibly can. And even then when he did turn it over left, it was only two to five yards, which is still going to be playable. So I think the black's gonna, definitely going to be a good option for his bag.